Hello YouTube, Calc Programmer one here. Today I wanted to take a look at um, some new features in Linux um, regarding gaming in particular. Uh, the two technologies I wanted to look at are called DRI Prime and Gallium 9. So what these are are um, new features that are showing up in uh, the new version of Mesa and will probably be in distributions within, I don't know, year or so, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, you can get them right now by installing some PPA repositories if you use Ubuntu. Uh, so what I have set up right here is um, my Ubuntu server, uh, TV PC, and I recently added a new graphics card to it because I upgraded my main computer to an R9 290X. So I was able to take my old 5870 out of that computer and install it in this one. So what this is is a um, AMD A8 3870K APU that is a integrated 6550D uh, in integrated graphics, which is what I was using um, until recently since I just added the uh, 5870 to it. But the thing to note, my TV is using the VGA input only. So on the back of here I have four connectors on the integrated um, HDMI, display, prot, yeah it's misspelled, DVI and VGA. And then on my 5870 which is the Ifinity X6 edition we can see six mini display port and that's all so with this TV being VGA uh, I do have the connectors required to adapt mini display port to display port display port to VGA and then VGA to the TV but um, why do we need to do that when we have DRI Prime so I'm gonna plug this into the integrated GPU and then I'll show you that with DRI Prime we can actually switch between rendering on the integrated GPU or rendering on the discrete GPU without uh, concern to a which GPU the monitor is actually plugged into. So back to the TV we can see this effect So if we type uh, glx info pipe grep renderer, that will tell you the renderer string of the installed uh, graphics driver. So in this case, Gallium is the open source uh, graphics driver running on AMD Sumo, which is the code name for the 6550D that is inside the integrated processor. But now with uh, DRI Prime, we just call whatever command we want to run, but we prepend it with the environment variable DRI underscore prime equals one to enable DRI Prime. This will select the offload GPU, and in which case is AMD Cypress. That's the code name of the 5870. So if we do GLX Gears, this is running on the integrated. And then if we do DRI Prime equals 1 GLX Gears, this is running on the 5870. And to note, I'm using the DRI3 version of DRI Prime um, through a PPA. The DRI2 version of DRI Prime is uh, very flaky and unreliable, but on DRI3 it is actually quite good. So I really recommend using DRI3. So that's DRI Prime. It lets you offload GPU rendering tasks to secondary GPUs in your system. 
Um, the main the main use case for this is if you have an, a laptop that has a dual GPU architecture, either Intel plus NVIDIA or AMD plus AMD or Intel plus AMD, um, then you, your display is always going to be hooked up to your um, integrated processor, but then to play games you can render on your discrete processor. Um, some old laptops are actually muxed, which means they have the display can switch between the two processors, but on most newer laptops they are muxless, which means you uh, offload. So, the next technology I want to talk about is Gallium 9. And what this is, is an open source implementation of DirectX 9, or Direct3D 9. And in integrated with Wine, it allows you to play Windows games in much higher performance than you would get out of uh, Wine with its uh, Direct3D to OpenGL in inter interpolation thing. So, let's go ahead and run DRI prime equals one steam or no win steam steam.exe so this is an installation of the windows version of steam going to run it with wine and uh, with DRI prime equals one so we'll render on the 5870 This also is available in the PPA, which I will link to in the description. So let's go ahead and play Skyrim. So one of the issues with uh, DRI Prime or Gallium 9 right now is it always reports NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. Why? Um, not really sure. But it does. It's hard coded in there. Uh, we're going to run at 1080p, 8 samples anti-aliasing and 16 anisotropic filtering and I think it is on Ultra. Um, maybe not. Yeah, so there's the settings we're on. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and play. So as you can see, uh, rendering on the 5870, you just heard the fan kick in there. It actually runs pretty smoothly. We're getting um, very playable, a little bit of stutter here and there, but um, overall not too bad. This is with um, Gallium 9 enabled.
and just like with normal wine, Skyrim doesn't close properly. So we have to tab out kill all tesb.exe. So now let's do a benchmark. I'm going to fire up a Tomb Raider, one of the other games that actually works on uh, DRI Prime. Or Gallium 9, I mean. And my controller is messing up here. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and run benchmark. And then we'll compare this against the uh, integrated GPU and show how much better the uh, 5870 is compared to the integrated 6550D. Oh, 46 frames per second. Pretty good. Now let's compare to the integrated by setting DRI prime equal to zero and doing the same benchmark. This will be running on the, the integrated APU and not the GPU.
So 12. 46 versus 12. Pretty good improvement, I'd say. So there you have it. That's uh, an overview of two new technologies that will be coming to Linux soon, or if you install a PPA already available. Um, DRI Prime, which is, allows you to offload rendering to another GPU, and Gallium 9, which allows you to run Direct3D9 Windows games at near native speed on uh, a modified version of Wine. Thanks for watching.